Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a star-shaped scrubby using tool. And these ones I did in blue since it is the 4th of July, but it doesn't have to be. Stars aren't always just for the 4th of July holiday or Memorial Day. So I'm going to show you how to make one in yellow. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to move these off to the side. And I'm using a 6-inch wide um, spool of tool to create the star and I'm not going to cut it into strips I'm going to use the whole width of the tool to create the um, star shaped scrubby today. I'm going to use a size J or 10 6 millimeter crochet hook to make the dish scrubby. So go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and start off with a magic ring. I'm just going to go ahead and cross it over here and create a magic ring. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to do chain three. One, two, three. And then you're going to do a double crochet into the center of the magic ring. And then chain one. And then we'll do another double crochet into the center of the magic ring. And then chain one and then double crochet again chain one double crochet chain one all right so we want to have five double crochets and we will be counting this first chain three as a double crochet so that means we have five double crochets one two three four five and this after this fifth one we do want to do a chain one and then we're going to pull the center circle closed here for our magic ring and we're going to join with a slip stitch to that third chain so this that one two three insert your hook into that top chain there yarn over and pull that through and join with a slip stitch okay so we should have five chain one spaces and five double crochets for the next round, we're going to have three double crochets worked into each chain one space. So we'll have five clusters of three double crochets. So go ahead and start off with a chain three. One, two, three. And that's going to count as our first double crochet. So we want three double crochets, so we're going to do two more into that chain one space right there. Okay, and then we're going to chain one, and then here's the next chain one space right there. So we're going to do three double crochets to that chain one space. One, two, three. And then chain one. And then find the next chain one space in between the double crochets and work three double crochets into that chain one space. There's one, two, three. Okay, and then chain one. And then find the next chain one space in between the two double crochets. And we'll work three double crochets into that chain one space. And three. Oops. Okay, so this three double crochets all into that chain one space. And then chain one. Okay, now find the next chain one space and work three double crochets. One, two, three. Okay, so then chain one. So you can look here, and we have five sets of three. It's one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. So that's all we need is five sets of three. So now we're ready to join with a slip stitch to that top 
chain of that chain three that we did when we began the round. Okay, so now we are ready to begin round three, which is where we will create the points of our star. So you can see here that into the first double crochet, we're going to do a single crochet. So we're going to, because we're starting here where we did a we joined with a slip stitch, chain one first, and then do a single crochet right into that top of that chain three right there. Okay, and then the next stitch, we're going to do a half double crochet and a double crochet. So a half double crochet into this next stitch, and one double crochet into the same stitch that we just did the half double crochet in. And then you're going to chain two, one, two, and then the same stitch, we're going to go right back into that with a double crochet, and a half double crochet into the same stitch. So all into the same stitch, there are four stitches in a chain two space. So that was all into the same stitch that was a half double crochet and then a double crochet then you chain two and you do a double crochet and a half double crochet all into that same stitch now in this next stitch you'll do a single crochet okay just like here and then you see where that chain one space is in between the three stitches there the three double crochets from the previous round just go ahead and do a slip stitch right into there Okay, so there's your first point of your star scrubby. Okay, so here's the next three double crochets. So into the first double crochet, you're going to do a single crochet. And then the next one, which is the middle double crochet of that group of three, that is going to have four stitches with a chain two in between. So start off with a half double crochet. And then do a double crochet into the same stitch. And then we're going to chain two. One, two. And then right into the same stitch, we're going to do a double crochet and a half double crochet. So that was four stitches all into that center stitch right there, all into the same stitch. That was a half double crochet, double crochet, chain two double crochet, half double crochet. So into this next stitch we'll just have one single crochet and then you see this is the chain one space in between the three double crochets, the groups. So you're going to do a slip stitch right into there. Okay, so that's the second point of our star. Now for this, this is the next group of three double crochets in between the chain one spaces. So for that first double crochet from the previous round, you're going to insert your hook and do a single crochet. Next stitch is going to have four stitches. So you're going to do a half double crochet into the next stitch. And then a double crochet into the same stitch. Then chain two. And then do a double crochet right back into that same stitch. And then a half double crochet. And then you can see the next stitch we want just one stitch which will be one single crochet. And then into that chain one space you're going to do a slip stitch. So that's what our star looks like so far. Okay, so now we're going to do the fourth point of our star. So we're back here where we have the three double crochets. So the first one we're going to insert the hook and do a single crochet. And then into the next stitch, we're going to have four stitches all together. So we're going to start off with a half double crochet and then a double crochet into the same stitch and then chain two. And then we're going to do a double crochet right back into that same stitch and a half double crochet into that same stitch. So we're working all the points the same way. And then next stitch, one single crochet. 
and then a slip stitch into that chain one space. Okay, one more point to work for our star. So we have four so far, we just need five. Okay, so we're back to where we have the three double crochets here. So we're going to work a single crochet into that first one. And now into the next stitch we will have our four stitches in that chain two space in between. So start off with a half double crochet, one double crochet, chain two, and then right back into the same stitch we're going to do a double crochet and a half double crochet. And then this stitch right here, one single crochet, and then a slip stitch into that chain one space. So we have completed our star shaped scrubby. So we're ready to go ahead and cut a tail and fasten off and weave in our ends. And I'll show you how I did that. So I went ahead and just cut that. I'm going to do yarn over and pull that all the way through that loop. Tighten it down here. Okay, so the center here, I'm just going to go ahead and pull that to close up that center circle as much as I can. And just weave that in, you know. Um, okay, let me get my little plastic darning needle here. I'm going to go ahead and twist it so that I can feed it through the eye here. Alright, now I'm just going to go ahead and weave that in. Now I wanted to show you um, here, like when you first started the first round, you see how that chain three space, you know how we did the chain three and that counted as a double crochet? Well, obviously when you do the chains and count it as a stitch, you can see it's thinner than the actual double crochets. So this, what I do is I kind of weave it through that skinny um, stitch there. And that way, just, you know, weave it up and down the um, chains and it kind of makes it a little bit wider. So you can see that it looks just a little bit wider now, so it kind of is more even with the other side. But the other stitches, so I think it looks a little nicer that way. Oops. Okay, there we go. Alright. So I'm just going to weave in the tail a little bit more. So you see how it looks a little bit um, wider now and it kind of matches those other stitches. So that's a little trick you can do to kind of weave your tail through that chain three space that way it looks a little bit more even and you know because it is a lot thinner than the other actual double crochets. Okay so now I have that woven in so I'm going to that off here. And then just weave in this other one here. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut that now that I have that woven in. So there you have your star shape dish scrubby using tool. And I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial today. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And I hope that you will subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.